Hey, so I don't really keep up with the World of Warcraft changes very often, but occasionally I just check in to see if there have been any priest changes, and I noticed that they released a new talent called Dark Ascension for the level 100 row, and this would be replacing Void Torrent because Void Torrent is being moved to level 90. But I had some spare time at work today and I decided to do some calculations and I kind of wanted to talk about my thoughts about this new talent. And here I have my nifty notes that I wrote down and it includes some calculations. I won't say that my calculations are 100% correct. I really ballparked a lot of it because I don't want to get down to the millisecond and stuff like that. I'm just trying my best to calculate it accurately, but there will definitely be room for error. First off, I'm just going to kind of read off and talk about the talent itself. So it's called Dark Ascension. It is an instant cast. It grants you 50 insanity immediately, and it's on a one minute cooldown. So basically the way they wanted it to work was it gives you a new void form. So since it's a new one, it resets your insanity drain and your void form stacks, and you also keep any insanity you currently had. Something that I kind of forgot about when I was doing my calculations that I kind of realized was unimportant was that the 50 insanity you get is actually not really that important because the fact that it's reset, the 50 insanity is merely there to make sure you don't fall out of void form right away because if you think about it, if it lets you go into void form right away but you have no insanity generated because normally we get into void form at like 65 to 100 uh, insanity, then you're just gonna fall right out without having some sort of buffer to let you stay in there. So that's why that 50 insanity is there. Anyways, the fact that it is on the level 100 talent row, um, I would say that I would only compare it with Legacy of the Void because I did not like Surrender to Madness when I played it on Alpha. And I will say that my judgment of Surrender to Madness is just based on feel and play style. I don't have any numbers behind it, but if they haven't changed it, uh, last I recall, they made it so that after it finishes, you can't generate any insanity for 30 seconds, which is a long fucking time, and I just don't, I don't like that. I don't feel like it's worth it. I guess what I mentioned during those videos was if you have downtime in between trash pulls, then it might help drain some of that time, but you can't always time it like that, right? It won't always be exact, so. I am going to only be comparing it to Legacy of the Void. So here are a couple things that I noticed when I watched some of my alpha videos again. I realized that most of the time I was getting around like 16 to 18 stacks of Void Form before I would fall out of it. Afterwards, since you lose 2% haste per second with the Lingering Insanity talent, that means you only get 9 seconds of haste afterwards which dwindles every single second. So when I watched one of my dungeon videos from the very beginning where you have absolutely no buffs and you're just starting off with zero insanity, I noticed that it took me roughly 10 seconds to get into void form, including dotting, let's say it was like three mops and I needed to dot twice. This was before I started using misery, but I kind of imagine even with misery, it might take a similar amount of time. When I was using Legacy of the Void in these videos, it took roughly 10 seconds to get 65 insanity, right? So if you kind of calculate that, if you want 100 insanity with Dark Ascension, it would take around 15 seconds with no haste buffs. So what I ended up doing to calculate this was, for Legacy, I calculated that there would be a 10 second ramp up time from the very beginning when you have no buffs. And then I would just use 18 seconds as my baseline for how long our void forms would last. And then after that, you're basically just going to be repeating this phase of void form uptime, void form downtime. And what I kind of decided to do, I estimated afterwards. So after your first void form, we have lingering insanity for nine seconds, right? I guesstimated that it would potentially decrease our ramp up time by two seconds. So what I ended up doing was 10 second ramp, 18 second void form, 8 second downtime, 
18 second void form, eight second downtime, and then you just repeat that cycle over and over and over. And what I realized was that across three minutes, you would get seven void forms. Okay, so here is what I did for the calculations and after writing it out, initially I miscalculated that Legacy of the Void would yield seven void forms and that Dark Ascension would yield eight, but it turns out they actually yield the same amount of void forms. So the way I thought about it was that at the one minute mark, or at least for this specific scenario at the one minute mark, you would delay using Dark Ascension for about 18 seconds because if you have the natural insanity to get into void form the normal way, you don't need to use Dark Ascension, right? It would be a waste. And even though it is a one minute cooldown, which makes you feel compelled to use it as efficiently as possible and as often as possible, you shouldn't use it ineffectively that way. So at the one minute mark, you delay it by 18 seconds, you use your regular void form, you fall out of it, then you use Dark Ascension to be in a void form again, and then you fall out of that, and then after the words is the 13 downtime, 18 uptime, 13 downtime, and then you just put in those Dark Ascensions wherever you could fit them. So this three minute calculation is assuming that you are constantly in combat the whole three minutes. So if we're talking, if we're talking dungeons, um, it won't work that way, and I do think actually the Dark Ascension cooldown might work pretty well for dungeons because uh, there are a ton of tanks out there that pull really fucking slow, and uh, I don't blame them because I tend to be a very impatient person. I I would just, like, if you had me as a tank one time when I was tanking on my warrior, somebody was literally saying that <laughs> he was like, you don't have to pull so fast, this isn't a marathon. Like he was complaining about me pulling too fast, but that's just like the type of player I am. Like I know these dungeons and if my healer is good, there's no reason to not pull if they have mana, right? Like who the fuck is going to be making a sandwich in the middle of a dungeon mid pool and stuff like needing that downtime. So anyways, so because of that, I do think Dark Ascension works out pretty well because of those random downtimes that you tend to have in between from strangers just like not pulling, just standing there, healers needing to drink, all of that nonsense. And I think that's really the extent of what I wanted to talk about for this. <laughs> Hopefully this will give people a better idea as to how this talent might work. So right now I don't think they have their beta version up yet for this talent. Um, I think there is one in the game right now that they said might already exist as a placeholder, but it doesn't work the same way because their most recent change doesn't limit when you can use it. I think right now in beta, it doesn't let you use it when you are in void form because they were worried that people would waste it or something. So I can't test it out. And what I'm a little worried about when it comes to testing it out is that I'm going to have to quest to... Uh, be able to do dungeons because right now it's locked out for me. Just a fresh new 110, I can't go into dungeons. So uh, maybe if I have the motivation to do some boring ass quests in order to test out this talent when they finally release it, I will put out a video to see how it feels and then maybe people will get a better idea as to how Shadow Priest would be like for battle for Azeroth. Although right now I still hate the fact that we are dotting so much more they last so short, and you have to reapply them so often, it sucks. Anyways, hopefully this video helped, and if you guys have any additional questions, please leave it in the comment section below.